Good morning everybody and welcome to Living Uniquely You, myself Sharon Brown. I hope you are all doing well on this Friday morning. We have huge energies today, absolutely huge energies. Some of you may be feeling really, really tired, completely out of sorts, completely ungrounded. That's okay. We have <clears throat> Full Moon Eclipse, which is all about surrendering past lives timelines literally are dropping collapsing all over the place so we are here at this moment in time to do the inner work nobody said it was going to be easy we've chose to come at this moment in time there's a lot of stuff going on you also have the bull because it's the full moon eclipse in taurus which is beautiful bull which is kind-hearted but he's all about being fully, fully grounded and present within yourself. You can be like the bull in the china shop. You can have an extremely off day today. That's okay. It's all to do with the energies. Also, the old Almac um, calendar, it's the beaver moon. So the beaver moon is about foundation. So you have two pinnacle animals that have come in to help you you have the beaver which is about your foundations making sure your foundations are solid to move forward then you have the bull that is helping you to be fully fully grounded and fully present in this moment in time and then you have the eclipse energy so you have a real mishmash of energies that are going on today and over the next couple of days you are going to feel completely out of sync that's okay because it's the energies that are going on. Me, I could barely get out of the bed this morning. But that's fine because I know it's the energies that is affecting me. So take it easy today. Surrender to yourself, okay? Just surrender. If you don't feel like doing anything, don't do it. Don't be pushing yourself. Don't be saying, oh, I have to, I have to, I need to get this. There's always tomorrow. Listen to your self listen to your body today and allowing the divine to come in and guide you you've those two beautiful animals that are here to help you today i'm going to call those two energies in to help and guide us through the next couple of days because the energies are so intense especially us that we are open and we are aware of what is going on and it's really pushing us out of our comfort zone it's getting us ready for 2022 okay 2022 is going to be an extremely huge year we have new energies coming in on the 21st of december and it's about embracing the change with ease okay so this does not have to be hard if you don't go in do your inner work see what needs to be shifted what needs to be cleared then it is hard but if you go in do your inner work life yeah it, it is hard sometimes to really really face a what is going on within you what is triggering you what is mirroring you yes why are these emotions coming up yeah it is hard but then when these energies come around it's easier to navigate through them because you're after going in and doing the inner work so today i'm bringing in the full moon energies the eclipse energies and then we have the beautiful two animals, the bull and the beaver. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in those energies, bringing in the light codes and really helping you to navigate through the next couple of days. I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath in. So just calling all your energy back. <coughs> Sorry, all the way back. <coughs> all the way back. From people, places situations, time and space. All the way back and allowing it to come through that divine filter of pure love and light. So allowing it drop through that filter of pure love and light. All the way back now, through that filter, all the way back. And breathe out. So 
take another deep breath in. And allowing your energy to drop into you. So allowing you drop in to you. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. Acknowledge how you're feeling. Not wanting to change anything. And breathe out. Bring your awareness to your heart and as you bring your awareness to your heart, visualise four big golden roots coming out of your heart chakra, into your solar plex, your navel, your sacral, your root, your hips, your legs, your feet, the floor, right down into your earth star chakra and into the core of Mother Earth, feeling your energies and Mother Earth's energies combining as one and feeling this energy move up into your earth star chakra pulling your earth star chakra all the way down 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 allowing yourself drop right down into your chris into your rightful place on this earth right into that crystalline grid fully fully anchoring your energy into your crystalline grid feeling the roots wrapping around the crystalline grid this is your rightful place Nobody else's, just yours. And just feeling the second part of the grid to come up to fully seal in your earth star chakra. Feeling this energy move up into your feet, your root and your heart. Doing a 360 degree around your heart chakra. Now I'm calling in the energy from source. Pure, unconditional love of the highest vibration. <coughs> Sorry. Coming straight down into your Stella Gateway. Clearing anything that's stopping you from having divine connection. Into your soul star chakra so you can see, sense and feel your true soul's path. And allowing that to fully illuminate in front of you. Into your causal chakra so your intuition can be fully heightened. Into the crown of your head so you can think more clearly. Into your third eye so you can see more clearly. Into your ear chakra so you can hear divine guidance. Into your throat so you can speak your truth with pure love and light. Into the higher heart, connecting into that universal energy of 5D and allowing you to fully anchor that within your life and body. Into your heart, so you can love you, you can see you, you can see your beauty inside and out. Into your solar plex so you can unleash your true divine masculine energies, allowing them to fully balance within the body and fully accepting yourself no matter what. Into your navel chakra so you can bring in the abundance, so you can bring in the universal energy, connection to all, oneness to all <clears throat> and allowing you to anchor that within. Into your sacral chakra so you can unleash your true divine feminine energies, allowing them to fully balance within the body. And remembering and reawakening your true gifts and talents, who you truly are. Into your root chakra so you can bring in the abundance of life and all life has to offer. Into your hips, your legs and your feet so you can take any necessary steps forward. Right down into your earth star chakra and into the core of Mother Earth. Feeling this energy now move up into your feet, your root and your heart. Doing a 360 degree around your heart chakra. Feeling your energy, Mother Earth's energy and Father Sky's energy. <coughs> Sorry. Combining as one. And feeling this energy move to every part of your body. Every part of your being. 
allowing you to drop right down into that stillness, into that oneness, into that zero point where nobody needs anything from you, nobody wants anything from you. This is your time and your space. Just allowing, allowing, allowing. I'm calling in the beaver, the beautiful spirit animal guide, the beaver. He's going to come in and he's coming in on your left hand side. So just listen to what he has to say, some guidance that he has for you. So just allow. And then I'm calling in the energy of the bull, the beautiful spirit animal guide, the bull. He's coming in on your right hand side. Just listen to the guidance he has to say to you. Just allowing these to come in and <clears throat> help and support you. Now I want you to visualise the beautiful full moon eclipse. Beautiful, beautiful moon. Silvery energy beam of the moon coming straight down into your Stella Gateway. And we're going to embrace these energies. <laughs> Chiapapapa, I am a man Nia sapatala la la katu ye 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 ye. Nia patana na kasule le mata le na na katu ye ya mo ye ye. Nia 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 ye. Chau, 
say last year, te ka na ka tu le le na ma na na ka si na na ka te le na no ka ta ta le ka pa su che apa. Nia ye yum, nia ye yum, nia ye yum, nia ye yum, nia ye E cha sa na na ka ta le i kono sa ma ta le na na ka ta na na ka tu le le i su cha. Ia 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 Na ka tā sono no ka te e mā ta lei na nā ka lū ie ie Iem Iem Niem niaiem Niem niaiem Niem niaiem Niem niaiem Niem Eu te solo te a passei Iem Su che a pana na catalei che cono cassata e a tanata lei na na cuce cuce a passana na catalei canaca cono cateia patazzanana su che a papapa. So feeling these energies move to every part of your body, every part of your being. E a passuna ne que lena na cataia na cata se e se yata. Allowing you to surrender, allowing you to let go. Just let go. Konuka sana mata le na na ta le sa le ki kuna na ka mata le ka na ka tu se e piana na ka. E a tana na katuna ne ne se no moka te yana na kata yana kata yana kata. Uuuu, che pa 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 pa. Piata, bote yana na kata se iso, o te yana na kata le nene ne ke te ya mose, ya mana na kata iri, ya patana na kata. O ne yata se ule le ka mata le ina na kata yana kata se ichi ya pasule. Ichi ya pasule ya mana na kata le ike konoka. Piata sana ke le ina nase i o te yete. So feeling your chakras being spun three times to the right, o koto ye a pana. Three times to the left, katana su le na nata. Three times to the right again, ku ye a pana nata le kete. Feeling yourself coming back into balance, into full alignment with your true divine self. Ino no kasana makata yana kata se i ke, kuno kanana se ne 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 te, piata luna. Se yana nata, beata, sete. And ask you to cross your hands over your knees and fully, fully anchor that beautiful energy in. <clears throat> so just allowing yourself to anchor that energy in. And slowly, slowly feel yourself coming back. I'm going to pull a card from the Moonology deck. To see what else we need to know about this moon. There's a lot of energy shifting, guys. Keep yourself grounded. If you feel yourself becoming ungrounded, call in the energy of the bull, okay? The bull especially will help you feel very grounded at this moment in time. And just allowing yourself. There we go. So we have a win-win outcome is forecasted. <clears throat> So it's about balance. Okay. It's so important over the next couple of days that you keep yourself balanced. Check in with yourself a couple of times a day. We check in with everybody else. We ask them how they're feeling. We ask our kids. We even ask our animals how they're feeling. We ask our partners how they're feeling. We ask everybody else that are so close to us how they are feeling. But when is the last time you asked yourself? Okay. It's about balance, keeping the balance, keeping yourself hydrated, grounded 
and balance. They are the three things that you need to do over the next couple of days and it will help you navigate through these extremely harsh energies that are around at the moment. Call in the beaver if you need to work on your foundations and call in the bull if you need to be fully, fully grounded. And remember, you are the most important person in your life. So once you do the work on yourself, it's the ripple effect. Everybody benefits. So just allowing yourself to be yourself, your true authentic self. Don't be hiding away from anybody else. Speak your truth because that's what we need at the moment and shine your light. OK, so have a magical weekend, guys. I will talk to you all again on Monday and I will be opening up the doors of my portal activation over the next couple, probably next week, probably the end of next week. So if you would like to join that group, there's 40 odd people in it. It's a magical, magical group. It's we bring in the uh, the energies. I bring in the energies of the portal of each month very high vibrational energies that come in it helps you stay in alignment and helps you navigate through month, the month and each each portal has a different reference um so if you would like to join that dm me and i'll put you on the list for when it is opening um because only opening going to be opening for about two or three days and then i'll be closing it down till the new year and then it's going up to 33 33 but at the moment it's 22 22 have a magical day guys i will talk to you all again on monday really hydrate look after yourself and keep yourself balanced have a magical weekend guys talk to you then bye